can see all this cat hair. Hello everyone and Happy New Year! Since this is my first official weekly video, I thought I would start by talking about my goals for 2018. Setting goals isn't really a usual thing for me, but I've changed the way I do pretty much everything over the last six months. I started bullet journaling and it's really helped me organize my life and it just seems like the next logical step is quarterly goals. I want to do a video at the beginning of every quarter so that I can mostly keep myself accountable. I figure if I tell you folks my goals, then I am more likely to do them. I am less likely to put them off and say that I can do it another time because I'm sharing it with people. So here are my goals of 2018. I wrote them on a little notebook here, so I'll be reading off of, off of this. Goal number one. Begin editing and revising my novel, Lullaby of the Lily 2. I just finished the first draft in November, so I'm giving myself a little bit of distance and waiting a while, but I do plan to start revisions on that on January 15th, which is just about two weeks away. Goal number two is to finish the outline for my novel, my upcoming novel, Diva of the Damned. It's based off of this idea I had when I was 17 and I tried to write it down and then I lost it. I lost my laptop at the time and it was the only copy I had and I gave up on the story. A couple of weeks after NaNoWriMo, I was listening to music and somehow it just it came to me. I was listening actually to a song that used the phrase Diva of the Damned and it Really, I thought about this character that I had come up with 10 years ago and the storyline that I had created for her. And I also thought about like just random dialogue and ideas came to mind. And suddenly before the end of the night, I had an entire basic outline. So my goal for the first quarter is to have a working outline so that I can begin drafting in the second quarter of the year. Goal number three is to write three short stories between 2,000 words and 20,000 words. Goal number four is to submit at least one of those short stories for publication in something I like. I haven't decided where yet, but I'll figure that out. Goal number five is to post six author videos on this channel and 12 tarot videos on my other channel, Maiden Circle for a total of 18 videos. Goal number six is to launch my Maiden Circle course online. It is a course I've been working on for the last two to three years, and I am finally at a point where it's almost ready to be launched online as a course for anyone who's interested. And I'll talk about that a little bit on my other channel at a later date. Goal number seven is to get a new day job. At the moment, I work as a nanny. I've been doing that for a few years. I've also, for the last couple of years, worked for a catering company. Up until a few months ago, I was also a barista at this very popular bakery slash coffee place in Manhattan, but I left to deal with some personal issues. I have reached a point now that it would be wise for me to find another source of income. But I don't want to go back to being a barista because I don't support, I don't drink coffee and I don't support the coffee industry. I have personal issues against that and I would like to find a job that is a lot more in line with who I am and with what I believe in. Goal number eight is to practice guitar at least once a week. This time I mean it. Goal number nine is to exercise a minimum of three times a week. Goal number 10 is to practice French every day. Since my sophomore year of high school, I've studied French, I studied it in college, and I study it on my own, and I do not feel that I can speak it at all. I know that I can't, I, have a, I just haven't really grasped it. And I think part of that is because I'm not using it every day. I use it for a few weeks and then I leave it for a few weeks. There's no way for me to learn a language unless I immerse myself in that language. And finally, goal number 11 is to have a date month with my partner at least once every month. Um, I have so many goals and so many things that I'm trying to do 
that it keeps me very, very busy, but I don't want to neglect that part of my life because he is a very important part of my life. So I am implementing a goal where I will actively try to make sure we have our time together and have a, a date night on a regular basis. Those are all of my goals for the first quarter of 2018. There are 11 goals. If I complete eight goals, I will consider it a success. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful week and I will see you two Wednesdays from now. Bye. Thank you.